In this video I'll take a look at how wolf warriors and berserkers do when charging into Avocati cohorts. And wolf warriors and berserkers have some interesting abilities. For the berserkers we have both headhunt and frenzy. We have frenzy and wedge formation or the boar snout as it was called in um, with the wolf warriors. That's a formation you don't see used very often and I think you'll see why pretty quickly. So over here I'm going to charge in, I'm going to use abilities on one unit, I'm not going to use uh, abilities on the other. Well, actually no, I'm going to use uh, Frenzy, and Frenzy and Wedge, and then I'm going to use Frenzy and Standard Formation, and we'll see how they do. So this is the Wedge Formation. And it's going to decrease melee defense, but it's going to increase the charge bonus, and Wolf Warriors already have a massive charge bonus, but it's only going to increase their charge bonus by 4, and their melee attack by 5. So charging straight in, doing massive casualties on the charge. It's just ridiculous how well these guys do on the charge. But the problem is that after Frenzy dies down and they are winded, they're going to get massacred due to their lack of armor. And they're going to do slightly better than the... Uh, they're going to do slightly worse, I mean, than the ones that are in Wedge. But the problem with Wedge is that they will charge in. They will get a nice amount of kills. But what's going to happen then... Here we have 54 remaining, here we have 66 remaining. What's going to happen is that the wedge is going to mean that less men get into combat and they're going to end up surrounded, so it's not a good thing to be using wedge. Here we'll be using the straight up charge without frenzy and we'll be using the wedge, so you can see how badly they get surrounded. It's just not a good time to be a wolf warrior. A wolf warrior is not using, not using the... Um, the Frenzy is going to do well against the Avocati Cohort, still it's going to take massive casualties and do about the same as if you use Frenzy. So it looks like Frenzy is, at least against Avocati, Frenzy is going to be offset by the reduction in melee attack they're going to get after Frenzy wears out. So here we have Berserkers, one unit using Headhunt Frenzy, the other not. So they're getting a lot of kills on the charge. More kills for Frenzy Headhunt, and they're going Berserk. Both of the units are going Berserk. If we look at the kills here, <laughs> looks like the unit of Berserkers that had Frenzy Headhunt, let's see, when they are destroyed. So they don't really break, they are destroyed, <laughs> uh, because they were um, Berserk. But the unit that was up against uh, Berserkers that didn't use their abilities have 83 men remaining. And against the Berserkers that use the abilities, they have 65 remaining. So, at least with Berserkers, you want to time your head Frenzy and Headhunt for maximum damage. But charging straight into Evocati like this is not going to end well for the Berserkers. And it's sort of a waste for that unit, because it's so expensive. It's seven, it costs 70 less than the Evocati cohort, and the Evocati have a lot ma of men remaining. So Berserkers are and Wolf Warriors are better used with Ariovistus to increase their charge even further, or just ideally charging into flanks or already engaged enemy units after you have sent in another unit to absorb the charge to bait the pila, a unit like Club Levy for example. Strength and honor.